Hello everyone. Uh, on a very serious note, I really don't know what is happening in the Southeast, especially with the governors. First of all, it was Governor Soludo who came out and said that he was going to punish traders who did not who, who who don't open their shops on Monday. That it might lead to you either losing your shop or you're going to close your shop for six months or one year or something like that. And then now. Sahara Reporters has also brought up another report. A new good government again vows to sanction schools, businesses complying with IPOP sit at home. How, how, how on earth are you punishing victims that are suffering instead of you to have the guts to go after perpetrators? Is it the people complying with sit at home uh, that should be the problem? Now, all the people who are saying they should be uh, sit at home, Simon Ekpa, whatever he calls himself, is free life. Why have you guys not gone after him? Why have you not gone after, you know, the, the, the Finnish government to say that they have kept a terrorist out there who is terrorizing people back in Nigeria, a very cowardly human being who runs away from Nigeria, stays over there, and then you're throwing this, and you're throwing messages, you're throwing instruction, you're throwing order. You don't have the guts to come back and be on the ground. You don't have the guts to come and put your boot on the ground. You stay somewhere else and you sit down and you are telling people because you have uh, people that will comply with what you have. That is a very irresponsible act. That is the behavior of the Buhari and the Tinibu, very irresponsibly, whereby you are ready to use people to stand, you know, you understand, no matter how, you stay and safeguard yourself, and then you are sitting down there, you are, you, you are, you are sending people to do heinous things, heinous things, heinous things, that's, that's what all of this thing is, it, it, it's all about. Why are the Southeastern governors, Southeast governors, not going after the person who constantly gives this instruction for, for, for it? Why are you not going after the perpetrators of this? Why all of a sudden are you attacking the people? Did any of them tell you that they want to comply? Did schools tell you they want to comply? Or when they kill these people, do you give them back their lives? People are suffering, people are being killed, people are going through so much. Nothing, nothing is, it, 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 they are not getting, they are not being protected. Their properties are not protected. Their lives are not protected. People have been killed just because they came out to open their shop. Even if they, they were not even opening to sell. That uh, They brought goods for them. And we've seen people being killed. People have ki been killed because they were on their way to school. And then you sit down and you expect that, oh, these people should just be coming out and allow themselves to be killed. Why you do nothing? What has the government done for all the people that have been killed because they were out on Monday or they refused to comply with, uh, the, uh, with the sit at home order or they were on their way to somewhere? What kind of a country is this? You sit down, you will not, you will not handle those who are, who are, who are going after your people. You will not handle the criminals, the terrorists who are coming after your people. You are blaming your people. They are being killed and now they are being sanctioned. The governor of Enugu that I say is going to sanction schools. Are his children in these schools? Let him bring his children and send them to the school now on Monday. On Monday, let his children lead by example. Let his children be working. Let him go. Let them go. Let him not carry security and follow them all. Let them enter public motto and everything and go to school with every other person. Then they too we, we, we follow. Let him let him distribute his children or whatever. What kind of wala is this? What is this now? People are suffering. People are going through so much. Do you think their businesses want to comply with this thing? The other day, someone will say, somebody say, eh, the businesses have to come and provide security. Are you okay? Even the state that has the machinery of everything has not been able to provide security. It's businesses, you are saying they should come and provide uh, security. Do you think business people want to stay at home? There are some businesses that they will say, okay, because they didn't come out uh, today, uh, tomorrow you go and buy. For example, somebody who has a restaurant, when they comply, they've lost the business for that day. Nobody is going to come on a Tuesday and eat the food they were supposed to eat on a Monday. I'm a market woman, I'm a trader. You know what it is for somebody to close their to close their warehouse. You know how much you lose. Me when they do public holiday, that's why I'm always angry at public holiday. Piaka, public holiday, piaka, public holiday, piaka. Because I say people, do you know how much we lose? I lose so much every day that there's public holiday that I, I, my, my staff are not coming out, and I have to still pay salary and whatever. 
Enugu government again vows to sanction schools, businesses complying with IPOP sit at home. The government team, which included top security officials, uh, taught schools, businesses, financial, financial institutions, and markets in Enugu to assess compliance level. The Enugu state government has again announced plans to sanction schools and businesses that adhere to the two-day sit-at-home order issued by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Professor Chidi Ebere Onya, the secretary to the state government, SSG, made this known during a joint press conference with security chiefs on Monday. The government team, which included top, secu uh, top security officials, taught schools, businesses, financial institutions, and markets in Enugu to assess compliance level. Security leaders present included Brigadier General Stephen uh, Dogo, Garrison Commander of the 82 Division Nigeria Army Teresa Ebunu, the State Director of the Department of State Services DSS, and CP Anayo uh, Uzuebu, the Commissioner of Police in Iku State Command. Professor Onya emphasized the government's commitment to ensuring the normal functioning of businesses and schools, stressing that any entities complying with IPOs directly would face sanctions. You cannot go and sanction up IPOB. You cannot go and deal with IPOB. It is people, it is innocent people that are also suffering the wild of what IPOB are doing that you are doing. It's a very cowardly approach to using power. The government had encouraged citizens to disregard the sit at home order and continue their daily activities without fear. But yet, when they are killed, nothing is being done. I just said, I think there was another killing that happened recently again there. What do you do about this? This is our life. You know what it is? You bring up a child, you give birth to a child, you bring up a child. You know what it takes to bring up a child to whatever stage it is. And then somebody will just come and kill. And then it goes, so and government doesn't do anything. You are telling them, go and comply. I should put my child to go to school when I'm not sure the child is safe. I should go and put my child on the line. Just because government said, government. Government that cannot protect its people. Is that one, is that one government? Enugu State Secretary to the state, uh, whatever, stated that uh, teachers at school, both public and private, that failed to open on Monday would face sanctions in line with state policy. The, the same applies to markets, businesses, financial institutions, and other. We, all, we demand zero compliance with these illegal directives. Onya emphasized. He praised the people of Enugu for resisting the sit at home order from what he termed enemies of progress, adding that the state had, had moved beyond such disruptions. Enugu is open for business, and we are committed to ensuring a conducive environment for private sec and sector actors will not tolerate non-state actors undermining our efforts to grow the economy. Yes, it's undermining the economy. But why don't you go after those non-state actors that are doing all of this to people rather than the people who are victims uh, themselves? I just think this is a cowardly way of approaching it. And what they're doing is just going after the citizens who are already suffering from so much. Thank you so much for watching.